So today I'm going to be doing a update video on HRT and it's been approximately four months since I began which is around January 15th or 16th and now it's well into May. So I kind of wanted to go over the roller coaster of things that I've tried and what I've experienced through HRT so far. So I originally started off taking Lupron Depot, an injection in the thigh, in order to block my hormones from being produced. And that was very effective. I did that for around three months, I'd say, because um, I had three shots and each one lasts a month. And it was very effective in blocking my hormones altogether, but I had not yet started estrogen. And then I realized that the cost was just too much for me. It was um, around $400 for each shot. And then the shots were covered by some of my insurance. So I still had to pay like around just over $100 worth on each shot. And I decided that I just wanted to try uh, spironolactone, the most common pill form of blocking hormones, along with estrogen. Because I thought that I might still get the results I want just for the price being much cheaper. So I recently switched about a month ago over to spironolactone pills and I just started taking estrogen pills around two months ago, I believe. For the blockers, I initially started off at a very small dose. I started off at 50 milligrams a day and then after two weeks I progressed to 50 milligrams twice a day and then now I'm at 100 in the morning and 50 in the evening. And originally, the pills that I took were 25 milligram pills, so I'd take two of them to equal 50. And they're this big, they're kind of small. And they came just in this green container. And then now I take one larger pill each morning, and these are much bigger, they're like this big, like oh, huge. I'll eventually have to start biting those in half when I take 100 in the morning and 50 in the evening. But yeah. Um, Spironolactone is a diuretic and that's its primary use. It has the effect of um, getting rid of a lot of the hormones in your body as well. Um, I think it's called an anti-androgen. And I haven't really noticed side effects from them too much. People say that they have to go to the bathroom all the time or blah blah blah. I really haven't noticed much from them uh, compared to the injections. I don't find myself having to run to the bathroom all the time, and I don't know, it's been fine for me. I think I can I can kind of tell that they're less strong than the injections though. They don't completely stop your hormone production. There's still testosterone that goes through my body, it's not 100% stopped. Um, but overall, I really don't mind the pills that much so far. I'm not at the full dosage yet, so maybe that will change when I'm taking 100 in the morning and 100 at night. Um, but yeah, I still have yet to really experience side effects from that, which I think I'm pretty lucky. I've heard from some people that they notice changes right away, like having to go to the bathroom all the time, or etc. And I also started estrogen, which is really exciting. I started it two months ago. I don't really count it though because I started on the first month at a dosage of 0.5 uh, milligrams, and that's just like unbelievably small to me. My doctor wants to slowly raise it, but I feel like 1.5 is, or 0.5 is like nothing. It's like, why even bother start taking it? <laughs> but anyway, so I took that for a month and um, didn't notice anything at all because 0.5 milligrams. And then I eventually increased to 1 milligram, didn't really notice too much. And then around two weeks ago, I started taking two milligrams a day. And the pills got bigger each time, so now they're um, this big. They're like a blue kind of pill. And I've started to notice the effects of these now. Um, not necessarily emotionally, but kind of. Like, I've been kind of moody lately, but that might just be me. Like, I don't want to attribute that to the pills, but I have been kind of like grouchy, although some people say that they're more calm when they take it. I really haven't noticed like a euphoric feeling or anything yet. Maybe my dosage is too small still? I don't know. But recently I've just started noticing some like soreness or tenderness in the chest area, 
which I think is the first step when taking estrogen that you really start to notice with your body. Overall, I haven't really noticed too much else. But yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to put them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.